Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm Rylan Chanover. And I'm Jack Hafey. Today is Friday, April 7th, 2023. Today is a B-Day. Today we are featuring segments about the 2020 feet or rhetorical contest, the newest edition of The Middle Magazine, and the art show at the Lane Memorial Library. This announcement goes out to 8th grade students who are going on the Washington, D.C. trip. There is a parent meeting on April 12th at 6.45 p.m. in the Hampton Academy Dining Hall. Eighth grade Quebec trip students, there is a required parent meeting at 6 p.m. next Wednesday, April 12th in the Hampton Academy cafeteria. Cooking Club is happening next week. See Miss Birch or sign up in the Google Classroom by Monday for a Wednesday, April 12th cooking club. We're making smoothie bowls. There's no late bus and we should finish cleaning up by around 3.15. Here's an announcement from the library. Our readathon runs from Monday, April 3rd to Monday, April 17th. It's not too late to sign up. Instructions on how a parent can activate your Readathon page are on the Hampton Library website. Earn prizes for the Readathon website and help our school raise money for end of the year field trips. Additional prizes and recognition will be given the top reader in each grade and top homerooms in each grade will get to have a breakfast party. Any 6th or 7th grade students who would like to switch their music course for next year need to see Mrs. Reno or Mrs. Gay for a music choice form. You do not need to fill out anything if you would like to continue on your current music course. All forms are due by the Friday before April vacation. Today's lunch will be egg and cheese, hash brown, baked beans, apple juice, fruit and veggie. Mm-mm, that lunch sounds yummy, yummy. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm with Kenny, Clive, and Kaylin, who are all part of Miss Nato's and Miss Frost Quarter 3 Shark Block. And they did the Middle Magazine Part 2. So, Kenny, what was your kind of topic for your two articles? My topic was the Jet Tokamak. All right, and what are your two article names? My first article is Creating the Sun on Earth, and the second article is Jet Tokamaks in the World. All right, and what was your favorite part about this shark block? My favorite part was researching how nuclear fusion worked. Wow, that actually sounds pretty good. And Clive, what, were you, what was your topic? My topic was space. All right, and what were your two articles' names? My two article names are Ready to Space Out and Are You a Disgrace in Space? All right, and what was the hardest part of this? hardest part for me was we had to complete each of our articles in uh, several days and all of them had to have, have minimum of four paragraphs. All right. And Kaylin, what is your topic? My topic is mental health. And your two article names? Inside the mind and with the press of a button. All right. And say if I want to get one, where can I find one? You can find one in almost any classroom and there are multiple copies in Miss Nato and the library room. All right. Thank you all for being on Shark News. And we're going to have a take a look at some of the articles from the magazine.
The Lane Youth Art Show opened the, this past Monday and will be hanging out for the month of April. There will be an artist reception on Wednesday, April 19th at 6 p.m. There are 21 art pieces from Marston and Hampton Academy being shown at the library. We have some interviews with a few of the artists and some pictures of all the artists, but please do yourself a favor and take a few minutes to go to the library and see the artwork. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with seventh graders Hazel and Chloe, who have work in the Lane Memorial Library Art Show. Hazel, what piece of artwork do you have in the art show? I made a Oaxacan turtle out of paper mache and plaster. And what was your favorite part of making that? I enjoyed painting it. And Chloe, what piece of artwork do you have in the art show? Uh, I made a boot made out of clay. And what was your favorite step in making that? The clay. Making it <laughs> with clay. And you guys, make sure to check those out there over at the Lane Memorial Library through the end of the month. Last Friday, the 8th grade oratorical contest was held at Hampton Academy. It was organized and won by 8th grade language arts teachers Ms. Clark and Mr. Doherty. The speeches were well written and delivered effectively by the 15 8th grade students whose speeches were chosen by their classmates. Let's take a look at some clips from the event. You can watch the entire event on the Shark News YouTube channel. A few years ago, when I was about 9 or 10, there was a girl in my grade who I had been friends with since preschool. For the sake of this story, let's call her Mary. Mary was my best friend. I hung out with Mary every day at school. I went over to her house what seemed like every weekend. We begged to have sleepovers or to go out together. But one day, she started to seem off. She would make fun of my way of doing things. She would shoot down my ideas, and we would only do what she liked. And then she did something that I could never forgive. She told everyone, including our moms, that had called her and her family members stupid, and that I hated them, when in reality, the day previous, I had gone home crying because she had said that exact thing to me. I started to feel alone, and with that, my happiness and self-confidence started to falter. That brings us to the big question. What is friendship? What are the benefits of having friends? And how can this social instinct turn on us and our well-being? One-tenth of a second. The amount of time it takes to blink. A fragment of time so small, it goes by unnoticed and unfelt. Yet one-tenth of a second is the amount of time it takes to judge someone 
to establish a lasting first impression, to make assumptions, generalizations, to determine the quality of your future relationship. When someone judges the character of a person, they often put them in tight boxes of a stereotype, which can feel restrictive and trigger a person's inclination to resist that categorization, to defy that suffocating stereotype. However, perpetuating the pressure to defy these stereotypes can actually combat the goal of equality and acceptance. Simply defying stereotypes is not the path to an inclusive society. In order to truly have equality, people should be able to embrace their true personalities and not feel judged for it. Good afternoon. 40 seconds. 40 seconds is the average attention span of an American adult and it's even less for developing youth and teens. Britannica defines attention as a state of mind that represents the shifting focus of one's consciousness. There is no doubt that the attention spans of adults and children are getting shorter because of many factors. The question is, how long can you go without checking your email, a text, a notification? By learning new ways to refocus, we can begin to reverse the effect of these factors on the human brain. Imagine, it's about two years from now and you've just turned 16. You're eager to drive, step on the gas and go. But what if none of that exists in two years? What if you were told that driverless cars are the new reality? In less than five years, driverless cars could become a reality, but should they be? AI should not be allowed to control road vehicles. One may argue that fully autonomous cars are the future, so that we could just keep developing them until they're fully safe. Although this may be true, they are not ready yet to handle such an important part in our everyday lives. There is a fable about a lapdog and a mule. The lapdog was favored and could be described as the prize pet because all the mule was useful for was to plow the fields. Naturally, the mule was envious. Envy is the desire to have a quality, possession, or other desirable attribute belonging to someone else. Envy could be split up into many different categories, such as what you feel when you're envious, the harsh side effects of long-term envy, and lastly, the benefits that you can get from envy. When you aren't careful in how you control your emotions, it can lead to serious negative effects down the road. The bottom line is, too much envy can destroy you. But if you listen to my speech, I can educate you on how to use envy to your advantage. And now for the weather. Friday, we'll have partly cloudy skies. There will be gusty winds in the afternoon. The high temperature will be 53 degrees. Saturday, we will have mainly sunny skies. There will be a high temperature of 47 degrees. And on Sunday, it will be again mainly sunny and the temperature will be 48 degrees. This week, we didn't get any weather photos, which is a huge bummer, guys. Remember, you can send your weather photos into sharknews at sau90.org. Celebrating their birthdays today are Freddie Lynn and Avery Austin. Celebrating on Sunday is Tim Sice. Happy birthday, Freddie, Avery, and Tim. Today is World Health Day. The World Health Organization chooses to highlight a special theme in the current wellness and medical world ranging from mental health to insurance and everything in between. This day sets the tone for what's to come in the world stage. This year's World Health Day will shine a light on nurses and midwives, the on-the-call re restless workforce the, that revolutionized that, the healthcare industry as we know it today. Please take a moment to thank Mrs. Kaiser, our dedicated school nurse, for all she does. Our fact of the day is a question for you. What is the largest organ in the human body? Our thought of the day comes from Benjamin Franklin. He was a writer, scientist, inventor, 
statesman, diplomat, printer, publisher, and political philosopher. He said, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin planned his day by getting up at 5 a.m. and asking himself, What good shall I do today? Hey, Anthony. Hey, what? When does a doctor get mad? I don't know, Liam, when? When he loses his patient. <laughs> Our answer to the fact of the day is this. The skin is the largest organ in the human body. Aside from protecting the body from disease and infections, it also regulates body temperature and assists vitamin production. Remember, before you speak, text, chat, or post, Ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, and is it necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go out there and make it a great day.